Hey, Morrison, I am here to talk about emotional wellness and all the things to work with self-care, what works for me may work for you. So I love to hear what's landing for you. I love to answer questions that you may have about um, a natural way to support ourselves and give ourselves love every day. So today's conversation is coming from a conversation I had earlier today with a amazing uh, mindset strategy coach that I have. Um, the best coaches have coaches, am I right? And she had this vision. So we're going to bring it up to you because I share what I learned. Uh, the vision was how being in the current, like how to be in the current. And there is always movement. There is always a current and there's always a wave that we get to ride. And I feel like it's how we dance, how we show up um, is how we can ride the wave of whatever's coming at us. Does that make sense? And so the current is the force or the driver or the turmoil, maybe. But what if we could, in our self-care mastery, what if we could go just be in the current and be okay? Because our tools or our way of being is is different and going with the flow of the current instead of against it. And so this is kind of what I'm going to totally journal on this later because I have been an appointment after appointment since that conversation. But self-care is all about enjoying the moment. We all have emotions, right? We all have thoughts, emotions, our senses, our way of being is, is we're human beings. And so we have a ton of emotions that come and go and they flex and they show up and um, we call them the gremlins or the nerds, right? When they show up and they're like sabotaging what we're trying to create, right? But our way of being can be different if we could ride the current of whatever is going on right now, right? What if we could rot, what if the full moon or the new moon or the experience of life, we could just go with the flow instead of against it? How much easier would our brain, our mind, our emotions be able to handle it if we could just join forces with the current, right? That is that is my vision today. Like how can I, how can I process things where I can just be with the current, not just, but if I could be with the current, just as if I was skiing or on a wave board uh, that would have to have a solid foundation because Shannon is not a wave boarder or a skier. So um, that balance, right? How do we create that balance in that in that wave? Uh, and that to me brings up self-care that to me brings up the re reframe and it is all in the shifting or the dance because life is a dance life. We are emotional beings. And so whatever intention we bring into the day may not go smoothly throughout our day, right? With the intention we brought in this morning at seven, six, five, how, whatever time you guys get up, um, may not completely go the way we envisioned but we also get to understand that we're not in control right we absolutely start with an intention because that gives our brain something to look forward to to go towards right and then the rest is really not up to us we get to ride the current of the day and we get to do our best every single day with the intention of these three tasks are going to get done Maybe one of them is not going to get done. Maybe one of them is going to be approached or started, but not completed. And that's going to be okay. Um, and um, it's what we do during, during the day that matters, um, giving ourselves grace or pouring into us or working on our self-care um, that's going to get us to the end of the day more successful, right? Um, and again, um, this is, this is all about self-care and it's all about emotional wellness, uh, not to sabotage your own self and not to, um, beat up yourself if things don't go smoothly. And I know last, last week we talked a lot. And even by Friday, um, I talked a lot about, it's okay not to freaking be okay. It's okay to 
to get to reframe. It's okay to choose self-love, self-care over completion energy sometimes. Um, because if we ignore the body tapping, if we ignore everything that's going around us and just plug through the mud, the messy metal, there's probably going to be a breakdown. And um, things can go much slower for us in the end if we ignore the tapping of the emotion, right? Um, so this conversation is really that. It's a conversation of showing up authentically um, in the way that best fits you and having the knowledge of the balance to do so. And so in my mind, Zai, our values come to thought process, right? What are your most valuable values? What are you come to the every table, every conversation with to your core belief, right? So having a solid foundation of what your core beliefs are, what your goal and your vision is, your why of what you create, and interconnecting everything together where, where you are moving forward with the current, but without connecting to the outcome, like not thinking that we're always in control because we aren't really in control. We are human beings in this amazing energy, right? In this, in this, in this paradigm, creating a new world, but at the end of the day, we don't necessarily control everything. And a new way of thinking about that is belief in the unseen, as in we don't necessarily need to have context to know something is true or that can happen. And that is creating possibilities, belief in possibilities. And so these two conversations this, this last week and this week, I feel like are super interconnected because I know myself last week, um, I rode an amazing, amazing wave of emotions as did all of the humans that I'm connected to. The emotions were scattered and it felt conflicted and there was just all this energy everywhere, right? And it kind of came to a head and then calmed down over the weekend for me um, and for a lot of people that are around me. And since then, I have talked to a lot of humans and they seem to be sick. So put it in the chat if you have like respiratory crap going on, if you have a chest cold, if you feel tension in your head, if your ears are hurting, if you sound like you're a, like 1-900 hot babe voice is here and you're like, I don't know what happened, but like my cough won't go away and my voice is like gone and it's hard to talk, right? Or throat chakra is a mess, right? And so supporting your system in those aspects because we tend to have breakdowns when we're fighting against the grain when we're like I get to do all of these things no matter what well friends we get to create all of the things but there gets to be a flow and we get to pour into self-care every single day no matter what because whether the list is I get to clean my entire house and the bathroom is in, it's a recipe right the bathrooms, cleaning the entire house is the kitchen gets clean, the laundry gets done, the mop, the floor gets to get mopped, the bathrooms get cleaned, right? It's just like the recipe to build a cake. I can have absolutely all of the ingredients, but I get the directions to build a cake, right? In, in addition to all the ingredients don't matter. You can have all the ingredients in the world and the oven, but if you don't know how to make the cake, you don't know how to put it together. And so we can have all these powerful, great intentions and a plan but we have to have the directions and the degrees to bake it and um, the inspiration to, to do it in the first place, right? And so that current of the emotional, I hope this is making sense and I hope it's landing for somebody. So if you're totally confused, put that in the chat too, um, because I get to connect and, and make sense at the same time. So we have a massive intention. And last week, I feel like it was a whole lot of doing, right? And this week, we're starting out a little the same way that everybody felt last week. But I feel like so many humans were going against the grain or against the current so much 
that they created bait breakdown in their body and they did not gift themselves self-care or time or love or grace in those moments. And then now they have that respiratory crud going on. Um, and so to assist with that, I've given a recipe like five times today because three out of the five humans I talked to have a respiratory issue where they couldn't hardly speak out loud. And so what's underneath that? What is the breakdown? We were so busy doing that we never listened to our bodies or our mind tapping, right? So we get to do both. It gets to be a both and. We get to ride the wave and give ourselves grace at the same time. So what does that look like? We're not control. We do not have control of the outcome. The goal is still there. The vision is still there the end date or the completion date or moment might differ from like the universe says date and time, right? And that gets to be okay. So a recipe for respiratory health, right? Holistic approach to respiratory health is a, you drink a ton of citrus water, lemon, grapefruit, um, tangerine, wild orange, all of these amazing oils of one, abundance of heart, buoyant heart, love, energy, vibrance, also detoxes your body, right? So Terra essential oils are my jam. I love holistic wellness. And so first and foremost, if you're having a body breakdown, if you're having issues with your um, liver, or issues with your bladder or issues with digestion or respiratory health, right? These are where our emotions get stuck, right? Um, drink a ton of citrus water. Secondly, to pull out all of that, right? To pull it all out or wash it through, to pull it out, a hot steamy cup, right? And we've talked about my mug the cup that I have here. This it is, um, it runs for 20 minutes, which is amazing. But you could absolutely boil water and or get water like you would pour into a cup of hot tea, put it in a coffee cup, and put one drop of oregano two drops of tea tree and two drops of peppermint in it and make a steam cup and put a, put a tent over you and let all of it come out of your head. Okay. Head and chest. Um, do that for 15 minutes and you'll be surprised of the clarity that you have in your brain and the support that you're giving your system. It's not going to feel great right at first, but it will afterwards. Okay, so that is your body tapping you and these things happening in the body breakdown is because we skipped the self-care because we just went against the current, right? So what would it feel like if we did both? What would it feel like if we rode or we were just in the current? If we are okay to be in the current, it's okay. Come in and the current will not take us out. We're actually riding the same wave in the same vibrate vibration and the same energy as the wave is out there. How would that shift, right? We wouldn't have body breakdown, right? We wouldn't have sickness. We wouldn't have mental anguish, right? And so collectively putting into our system and our body, the fuel it needs, giving our brain the love and the grace that it deserves because it goes through a lot in every single day, right? It computes a lot every single day. And to understand that spirit, God, universe, whomever is actually in charge. We have a direction, we have a vision, um, but we get to not control the outcome. Um, if we have a vision, it will happen. If we have intention to create something, it will absolutely happen because, because we weren't gifted these visions and these dreams and, and the audacious approach um, to have created it without it being able to be done. So I'm not saying forget your dreams and goals and ambitions because we don't have control. That's not what I'm saying at all. But sometimes we get wrapped up into the completion time of day or the completion date and it's okay to miss the date. It doesn't, it just means the date shifts for completion. It doesn't mean the goal completely shifts, if that makes sense. Um, 
And so I invite you to um, do something that I was invited to work on last week. And that was really tapping into myself and maybe even um, a specific chakra, which um, bar solar plexus or our sacral chakra and asking thyself, right? Asking what we need, um, asking it yes, no questions. And it might be a aha uh -huh and a aha, uh -huh, right? Simple questions and diving into whatever our body needs because our subconscious runs the show, friends. 90% of whatever we think, feel, or act on is already written in our subconscious. It's in the data code that we were given when we were born. It's in the data code of the generations above us. It is already here, my friends. And so how we react, our thoughts, our feelings, our expressions, our speaking, um, our emotions, our uh, way of being, we can absolutely shift that and we can learn to change the data. But our experiences are also generational. And um, we need our subconscious to breathe, to tie our shoes, to not have to like think about cognitively breathing every single time we take a breath. Our subconscious takes care of that, but it also can control us, okay? And so if you want to be more conscious about how you react, how we create, we get to change the data code, right? Our already programmed data code is it has been written for a long time. And that is that is a process. That is a process that I would love to help you with, right? Um, generational emotional mapping and um, holistic wellness really helps get to the root of the issue. Uh, and in the last month, my friends, I don't know what exactly is going on because I'm not in control. Uh, but it has been very, very evident that I am not in control. And um, we are a mirror image of the humans around us. And the humans around us are feeling the feels just like me. And we get to lean in and work on self-care. So what does that look like to you? What are the tools that you have that light you up? What are the things that you can do every single day to increase your vagus nerve? Your vagus nerve really creates um, an energy of positive emotions and um, recalibrates your system. Your gut health, what are you fueling your body with? Are you extremely drinking a ton of caffeine right now? Are you eating processed sugar? Are you eating clean organic food more often, right? What are you fueling your body with? What are you fueling your brain with? And what are you drinking? Top three things, right? And so um, this last Friday, I created a reel and I created a reel that I showed every single thing I did to reframe through my day because it was a chaotic day for me. So everything I did was I went to my foundational health, right? I took my vitamins, I drank my shake, I drank water. Then I was able to reframe and I oiled up some more. I went to my vision board some more. I meditated twice. I listened to my favorite music and I sang like no one was listening because no one's listening here. No one was here. I was in an empty house, which was fabulous because I got to sing like a crazy woman in the shower, except I was right here in my office and I got to get through in the current, right? I stayed on the current. I had a vision of the time that I wanted to leave and leave town to go to Kearney, to go to the city. And I was two and a half hours behind schedule from what I thought I was going to do, right? Everything got completed. I got to dance with the reframe all day long. And I arrived on time to my destination, even though my emotional state was chaotic, even though I kept walking into a room and I was like, what the, did I come in here for? even though I went to an insurance meeting downtown with wet hair and no makeup on. We get to create it even though we just stand on the right of the current and we pour in the self-care. So little bits at a time is absolutely okay. How can I move my body? Do I go out and sit in the sunshine because we need the vitamin D in the sunshine to give us energy? Do I drink citrus oils? Do I oil up? Do I use rose? Yes, I used rose because it was one of those emotionally chaotic days. And when nothing else works, Rose works for me. Um, 
I went and envisioned the vision board that I have out like three or four times. I read every statement three or four times. I sat in it and I was like, you are here for more than this emotional chaos, right? Um, pouring into myself. We get to give ourselves love every single day, no matter what. And if it's an emotional turmoil week or day, like today, maybe for you, um, or maybe the week is the week for you, we get to do all of the tools more than one time. And it's okay. It's okay not to be okay. And it's also okay to have the confidence in what the tools you have are at home or what the tools are in this amazing group of people that have so much knowledge on holistic wellness approaches for your emotions, right? Um, I poured in the crystals. I prayed into the crystals. I asked for support. Um, I, you know, did gem work. I did all of these amazing things because I had the tools to do so, right? And the things that I've learned in the last couple of years are, are amazing. And you have amazing resources in this community to help you through whatever the shit show is that you get to get through, right? Um, and so that is that is my conversation today. How are you? How are you being? How are you showing up for yourself? Um, what is the wave you're riding right now? Put it in the chat. What is the wave you're riding right now? Because there's a lot of people that are suffering. There's a lot of people in the world that. Um, aren't telling, aren't sharing, aren't talking about it. And uh, emotional wellness is, is not fun to sit in all by yourself, right? Uh, it is okay uh, to be seen. It's okay not to do it alone because you have an amazing community of gifted, talented, powerful, intuitive humans that would like nothing more than to serve you, just like me. All right, um, you guys are amazing. You are loved, you are powerful more than you can ever imagine. 